What's up everybody? Welcome to Lock Picking Central and today we are going to show you why I do not like cheap locks, especially the cheap master locks. And we're going to show you why I wouldn't even put this particular lock on the shit on anything, even a shed or a locker. So I'm going to show you that by showing off my sweet new pick here as uh, I believe this one I can pick the fastest with this one. I tried out a bunch of picks on this one, see which is the fast, fastest. And surprisingly enough, this new pick is freaking awesome. So, let's go ahead and put this cheap, uh, like, $2 master lock or $5 master lock, whatever it was, in the vise here. Tighten that up. All right. So, I'm going to show you this is just a regular, regular lock. It does work. It does work perfectly fine. Here's the key. So there you go. Don't need that. So it is locked. So let's put this back in here. And I'm gonna try to show you a side view, I think is what we're gonna do. So there we go. So that way you can see the uh, lock. Let's see if we can't get this adjusted here. See, this way you can see the lock and this opening and me picking. So let's try something like that. There we go. Tighten her down, tighten this down. Okay, so we got my lovely new pick and we're also going to be using a double-sided uh, tension wrench. This side's got a little indent with uh, some little teeth and hooks. That's the side we're going to be using. So we're going to put this in here at the top. We're going to use top of the key weight tension. Uh, this is probably light, light medium tension. And this is actually a couple ways you could do this. You could pick it this way or you could flip it around and pick it this way. This would kind of be like the snake rake. This is kind of like an in between a snake and a double peak. So it's very cool. And there we go, it's open. So let's go ahead and show you this. There you go, it's completely open. And that's gonna do it. So it's really <laughs> not a, a very hard lock to pick into. This has become very handy to help you guys see. But yes, it is completely open. And uh, we'll probably come back to this and show you also how easy it is to single pin pick this lock. There is no security pins in there whatsoever. So if you enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like on this video, post a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, so before we get to the ending of the uh, little outro I have here, I just wanted to say that I don't have any sponsors, nobody sponsors me, including Master Lock. Not that I wouldn't let them, I just I don't have any sponsors right now. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about anybody. Master Lock, their cheap locks are not that great, but I would not say don't buy Master Lock. Uh, some of their cheaper locks are not so bad, but some of their more expensive, beefier locks are actually pretty good. And, you know, like I said, I see a lot of sheds around here. So I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, don't shy away from Master Lock just because... I show how easily it is to be picked. Some of these uh, locks that are cheaper, yes, an, a an average or uh, unskilled person could pick them probably pretty quickly. But some of them are more expensive. Once you get over like $20, $30 locks, they're actually quite good um, for the price. So don't shy away from them. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below.